Have you ever wondered how something as simple as your morning cup of coffee could be affecting your health, especially as you age? Many men over 50 don't realize that their daily coffee habit might be impacting more than just their energy levels. It could be altering their intimate lives in ways they never expected. From testosterone changes to circulation issues, the effects of coffee on your sexual health are deeper than you think. If you are not subscribed, subscribe and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any videos. Your support means a lot to me. And if you enjoyed this video, you can help me continue spreading the valuable lessons by liking and sharing it. While it's true that coffee can act as a powerful stimulant for the central nervous system, giving us that much needed burst of energy and sharpening our focus, it's important to recognize the hidden effects it can have on our bodies, especially for men as they age. Coffee doesn't just wake us up, it directly influences blood circulation, and this is where things can take a troubling turn for male sexual health. The male member, just like any other vital organ, relies on strong and consistent blood flow to function optimally during those intimate moments. Unfortunately, coffee, with its high caffeine content, causes a temporary spike in blood pressure, which might sound harmless, but it can actually restrict blood flow to the pelvic area. For older men whose blood vessels may already be hardening with age, this increased pressure can exacerbate circulation issues, making it harder to achieve and maintain a firm erection. What's even more concerning is the intricate relationship between coffee and male hormones, particularly testosterone, which is the cornerstone of men's sexual vitality. Sure, caffeine can cause a temporary boost in testosterone levels, which might seem like a win, but in reality, this quick surge is often deceptive. Why? Because over time, the body tends to compensate for that artificial spike, leading to a reduction in natural testosterone production, especially in older men. The long-term consequence? A gradual, disheartening decline in libido drains the joy out of intimacy and weakens the spark in their relationships. As a doctor, I've personally seen the profound impact this can have on men over 50. The science is clear. Caffeine's effects are more pronounced as we age, often leading to hormonal imbalances that directly diminish sexual desire. And if that wasn't enough, coffee's role in disrupting sleep makes the situation even worse. Caffeine, being the powerful stimulant it is, can throw off sleep patterns completely, robbing men of the deep, restorative sleep they need to regenerate their testosterone levels. During those precious hours of deep sleep, the body produces most of its testosterone. If sleep is constantly disturbed, testosterone production drops significantly, leaving men feeling not only tired but less interested in intimacy. It's a heartbreaking cycle. Poor sleep leads to lower testosterone, which leads to less desire, creating a strain on relationships. I've had countless older male patients confide in me about their struggles with sleep after years of coffee consumption. They talk about the exhaustion that never seems to fade and how it's left them feeling disconnected from their partners, unable to enjoy the passionate moments they once cherished. Chronic fatigue brought on by poor sleep doesn't just affect the mind. It seeps into every aspect of life, including sexual health. It's devastating to hear these stories from men who, after decades of relying on coffee to fuel their busy lives, now feel it has robbed them of the very energy they need to enjoy those intimate moments. Let's not forget the cardiovascular impact of coffee either. Healthy arteries and veins are crucial for sexual performance, and when circulation is compromised, whether by hardening arteries or coffee-induced pressure spikes, the male member simply cannot function as it should. In the end, what starts as an innocent habit can quietly erode a man's ability to maintain satisfying relationships, both physically and emotionally. It's a sobering reminder that, sometimes, our daily rituals can have far-reaching consequences we never expected. Coffee is a staple in many of our lives. That warm, comforting cup in the morning often feels like a necessity to jumpstart the day. But while it may provide that temporary boost, it's important to acknowledge the longer-term effects, especially as we grow older. For men over 50, coffee isn't just an energy drink. It can be a slow, silent detriment to their health. 
What many people don't realize is that coffee can raise cholesterol levels and contribute to the hardening of arteries. Over time, this leads to reduced blood flow throughout the body, something that may not seem like a big deal in our youth, but in our later years, it can have serious consequences. For men, the reduction in blood flow has a very specific impact. It can diminish their sexual health and vitality. If you are still watching this video and find these lessons useful, please comment number one below to let me know that you are still watching this video with me. This isn't just some minor concern. The American Heart Association has been warning about the dangers of excessive coffee consumption in older adults for years. The risk of heart disease increases dramatically with age, and coffee only compounds that risk. But heart disease isn't the only worry. For men, a reduction in blood flow means a reduction in sexual performance. Think about that for a moment. Intimacy is a vital part of life, a key component of emotional connection, joy, and fulfillment. Yet, as coffee hardens the arteries and restricts blood flow, the ability to fully engage in intimate moments begins to fade. It's not just about the physical act of intimacy. It's about the confidence and connection that comes with it. Imagine being in a moment where you want to express your love, but your body doesn't respond the way it once did. That can lead to feelings of inadequacy, frustration, and even sadness. Over time, these feelings can create emotional distance between partners, all stemming from something as seemingly harmless as a daily cup of coffee. What's even more striking and often overlooked is the psychological toll that excessive coffee consumption can take. Yes, coffee helps us feel more alert and ready to tackle the day, but that alertness can come with a heavy cost. Anxiety, jitteriness, and nervousness are all side effects of too much caffeine. And for older men who may already be navigating the complexities of aging, this added anxiety can be a real barrier to enjoying life to the fullest. I've personally seen how this plays out. As men age, they often face increasing responsibilities. Perhaps they are nearing retirement, dealing with health concerns, or feeling the weight of financial burdens. Now, imagine adding coffee-induced anxiety to that mix. The result is often a heightened sense of stress, which can creep into every corner of life, including their intimate relationships. In many cases, men become trapped in a vicious cycle. The stress from work or daily life compounds with the effects of coffee, leading to even more anxiety. This heightened state of nervousness interferes with their ability to relax and enjoy intimate moments with their partner. And as the stress builds, so does the fear of failure. The fear of not being able to perform or satisfy their partner can become all-consuming, creating a downward spiral where intimacy feels more like a source of pressure than a source of joy. I've seen men who used to be confident and assured in their relationships suddenly become unsure of themselves, all because they're caught in this web of stress, anxiety, and diminishing physical performance. The worst part, it's not just their bodies that are affected, it's their minds. Coffee, which once seemed like a harmless pick-me-up, is now fueling this self-doubt and anxiety, making it harder for them to feel confident in any area of their lives. And let's not forget the emotional toll this takes on their partners. Intimacy isn't just about physical closeness. It's about feeling connected, desired, and loved. When a man is struggling with his sexual health, his partner often feels the strain too. They may worry that something is wrong or that they're no longer attractive to their partner. This emotional disconnect can be heartbreaking. What was once a source of comfort and connection becomes a source of frustration and emotional distance. Over time, this can erode even the strongest relationships, leaving both partners feeling isolated and unsure of how to bridge the gap. What's truly tragic is that all of this, the physical decline, the anxiety, the emotional distance, can often be traced back to something as simple as coffee. It's a drink that many of us don't even think twice about, yet it can have such profound effects on our lives. For men over 50, it's crucial to be mindful of how much coffee they're consuming, not just for the sake of their hearts, but for the sake of their relationships, their mental health, and their overall sense of well-being. Reducing coffee intake could mean more than just a healthier heart. It could mean regaining the vitality and confidence that makes intimacy a joyful part of life 
rather than a source of stress. It could mean reconnecting with a partner on a deeper emotional level, free from the anxieties and fears that coffee-induced stress often brings. In the end, it's not just about giving up coffee. It's about making choices that support a full, rich, and healthy life in every sense. By being more mindful of what we put into our bodies, we can ensure that we're not just living longer but living better, more fulfilling lives, emotionally, physically, and relationally. It's well established in sexual psychology that anxiety is one of the most significant barriers to experiencing sexual pleasure. For many men, especially those sensitive to caffeine, coffee can exacerbate this issue. The stimulating effects of caffeine, which might seem harmless or even helpful in other aspects of life, can become a major contributor to heightened anxiety, particularly during moments of intimacy. Anxiety doesn't just stay in the mind. It manifests in the body, leading to decreased responsiveness and enjoyment in intimate situations. The heart races. The mind becomes cluttered with thoughts of failure or performance, and before you know it, the natural flow of connection is disrupted. But does this mean that the solution is to quit coffee altogether? That can feel extreme, and the truth is, it isn't always necessary. Coffee, after all, is a beloved part of many people's daily routines, providing comfort and a sense of normalcy. The answer often lies in something much simpler, moderation. For men over 50, the goal isn't to give up coffee completely, but to find a balance that works for their health and lifestyle. Reducing coffee consumption to one or two cups a day can make a significant difference, not just for anxiety, but for overall well-being. It allows you to enjoy the perks of coffee, the warmth, the ritual, the alertness, without tipping into the negative side effects like heightened anxiety or sleep disturbances. In my own experience working with patients, I often suggest a few simple adjustments that can have a profound impact. Switching to decaf for that afternoon cup, for example, is a small but powerful change. It lets men enjoy the taste and comfort of coffee without the added jitters or insomnia that can come with late-day caffeine. Limiting coffee in the afternoons or evenings can also prevent sleep problems that can spiral into other health issues, including mood swings, lack of energy, and reduced sexual drive. The key, as with so many things in life, is balance. Coffee itself is not the enemy. In fact, for many, it provides a sense of calm and routine in an otherwise chaotic day. However, excessive and uncontrolled consumption can lead to a range of health problems that become more apparent as we age. Sexual health, heart health, mental clarity. All of these can be impacted when we don't monitor our caffeine intake, especially in later years. It's about taking control of our habits in a way that supports a healthier, more balanced lifestyle. Ultimately, it's about listening to your body. What works for one person may not work for another, but finding that sweet spot where coffee can be enjoyed without negative consequences is not only possible but highly recommended. It's a small change that can bring big benefits, not just in physical health but in mental peace and sexual confidence. At the end of the day, it's not about giving up the things we love but about enjoying them in a way that enhances rather than diminishes our quality of life. If you can maintain moderate coffee consumption alongside a balanced diet and regular exercise, the potential negative effects can be significantly minimized. For all of you out there who are over 50, it's essential to keep in mind that while coffee can impact your sex life, it's by no means a final, unchangeable fate. The way we approach our health plays a pivotal role in how we age, and by simply practicing moderation with caffeine, you're already taking a huge step toward protecting your overall well-being. Sexual health is intricately tied to cardiovascular and hormonal health. So, if you focus on maintaining a healthy heart through regular exercise, nutritious food, and managing your caffeine intake, you can continue to enjoy not just a full life, but a deeply satisfying intimate life as well. The power to create positive change is entirely within your control. By listening to your body and being mindful of how it reacts to stimulants like coffee, you give yourself the best chance of preserving that confidence and connection in your intimate relationships. If you are still watching this video and find these lessons useful, please comment number two below to let me know that you are still watching this video with me. And remember, if you ever notice changes in your sexual health, 
don't hesitate to reach out to your doctor. It's never something to shy away from discussing. With the right guidance, adjustments, and a willingness to prioritize your health, you can continue to live vibrantly and confidently, both in and out of the bedroom. Ultimately, small, mindful changes can make all the difference in not just how you live, but how you feel, and how you connect with the ones you love. As we wrap up, it's clear that something as simple as coffee can have a surprisingly big impact on our health, especially as we age. But more importantly, we've learned that with moderation, a balanced diet, and regular exercise, we have the power to manage these effects and continue enjoying a vibrant, fulfilling life, both physically and intimately. Now, we'd love to hear from you. What's one thing you've learned from this video that you plan to put into practice? Maybe it's about cutting back on coffee, focusing more on your cardiovascular health, or paying closer attention to how your body responds to stimulants. Whatever it is, share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Your support means the world to us, and we can't wait to continue this journey with you. Thanks for watching.